Today is about putting together the full throw. One of the things you can do is warm up with your kneeling throws. You can take a few of those. You can take your up and overs. You can do the stand throw, right? We can go through that so you get a total of maybe anywhere from six to eight throws in that range to get your body moving. We're working on mechanical positions. They're going to feel uncomfortable. That's the point of the pillar drills. We're trying to find those movement pieces that are kind of off and then train that piece, train that piece, and then put it back into the throw. And what you should see is your throw coming together in a more complete fashion. And it's easy easier to do because the pieces, right, don't add up. So when we just try to put together a motion, but the position parts are incorrect, it becomes very difficult and it's a slower process. We're going to have our athletes start here. We're going to set our alignment. We're going to set the angle. And what we're going to do is we're going to see, we're going to drop like our pillar three. So as we drop, we reach and we feel that. So we move into this position. And now you're going to notice that I'm moving into that pillar five position. I have a sideways pillar three, four. So I'm dropping the chest and the hip, sliding this kick leg out. So I'm going to feel this and then I'm going to feel myself landing on that angle so I can drive out into the throw. Now, what we do for the sake of simplicity with a side shuffle is we start with the hand up here. So we, we basically start at this point, shoulder level, and we create the angle to elevate the arm. We don't necessarily lift it up and put it across. We're going to do this. So we're going to start here. We're going to bring it down, we're going to scale, and we're going to separate. Now we're going to set the angle which lifts this up. We're going to go pillar three, drop and slide. We're going to push, and then we're going to land in our elevator squatted position. And then we're going to block arm stop, push, heel up, push, and drive the hip out so that we feel this motion. Pretty straightforward. So again, let's look at that, really simple. Set it up, scale and separate, okay? We're going to drop and slide, push, and we're gonna drop into our elevator, and then we're gonna block leg, block arm stop with this. So we're getting back to that motion again, that motion, boom, boom. Squat straight down, we're gonna turn this foot to about 45 degrees, we're maintaining the hips, so we hinge. Notice I don't turn the hips, and so what I do is I hinge to about 45, I bring the chest forward, on an angle here so i'm in that point of pillar two and what i'm going to do is i'm going to wind on the angle i can't set back up i'm on the angle so you'll see this line here you'll see how my hips are generally centered the knee is not pushing this way i'm straight down turned upper body comes over and then what it does is it forces the long radius right and so i feel this and Tyson Jones, who threw 71, eight and three quarters multiple times and won New Balance Nationals in 2018. We had a point in the fall where we probably spent about three weeks where that's all he did was pillar twos. He just got feeling that pillar two position, pillar two position, the timing of how to keep everything moving and driving in. And that's what set him up for that really good consistency, dozen throws in competition over 70 feet. So very consistent. Again, we're gonna review. The pillar two is quite simple. We squat straight down we turn the foot to 45 we angle the chest out and then we get here and we open we wind on the angle so we feel that hip lock like a kneeling throw and then we work the arm around so we're gonna feel the hinge and you're gonna feel that now I'm on balance heads over the knee I'm on double loaded legs I'm gonna be able to turn through turn through and lift when it comes to the glide shot don't bend at the waist that's the kiss of death you screw up the alignment angles and you change the trigger on your pillar one and it becomes very difficult to set up a dynamic throw and move with speed one of the other things is is the arbitrary kick leg dominant where we're not understanding the action between the drive leg so the kick and the drive working together, that's how we create that double extension. So you want to avoid bending over and you want to avoid the pull in and just being kick leg side dominant. The last thing that we want to really avoid, like we said, is that shoulder, that hand carry position. That elbow should be here. Carrying the shot in the right position is super critical for that. We talk about that a lot of times people come in. In fact, today I had a new athlete come in and the, and the athlete is holding, doing the glide with the elbow up here. And the elbow needs to be down here so that we can be in this position and we're gonna be able to hit that nicer elevated line. If it's here, there's more of this kind of artificial 
arcing lift and that's not going to work even if i'm here that's not going to work that elbow needs to be here because because it's a straight line this comes out of the way if again we look at our top throwers in the world we look at all the best gliders it seems to still be more gliders on the women's side than on the men's side and i suspect that over the coming years that that's going to be changing just like it has in the men's shot so at any rate take a peek at those throwers and look at what i'm saying hopefully those that structure works and those three tips work for you if you'd like detailed information that starts to discuss the differences between the discus and the shot or more information check out our website irritate throws nation.com we've got a whole bunch of free resources there for throwers and you can get more information remember again like comment subscribe give that subscribe button a nice big hit thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video this video what we're going to discuss is the inverted c or the c back we still hold by the inverted c position when you look